Peace, power, and protection. Welcome to Claire Audience Truth Speaker, beloveds. Thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. It has been a little minute since I have done a reading. I just noticed that it turned 444 as soon as I started the reading. How beautiful. Some of you all could be seeing angel number 444. I definitely feel like your angels are coming through for you in the clutch. Um, I am recovering from COVID. I caught that nasty virus a couple of weeks ago at work, um, and I'm still not even 100%, 110% yet. I'm still trying to get my taste of, uh, you know, my sense of uh, sense of taste and taste sense of smell back. Um, still fatigued, but I am definitely better than I was. Um, I do not wish that nasty virus on anyone so that's why you all have not seen me uh mercury retrograde came in with a punch kick and you know like a combination <laughs> and then shortly thereafter um i had caught you know covid uh but uh everything is everything on my side of the planet now that is the reason why i wanted to just kind of update you all touch base with you all see how you all are doing um, and more importantly, provide you all with a reading. Uh, without further ado, we're just going to dive right in. We're not going to take up too much time doing, um, you know, commentary and things like that. I just kind of want to just delve into the readings. Um, I will you all are blissed. I will each and every one of you lovely souls are feeling grounded, balanced, and in alignment. And more importantly, that you're healthy. Um, I am definitely feeling a lot healthier, so I'm very thankful and grateful for that. Uh, to anyone that may be new to the channel, thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. To all of my beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. I thank you for those of you who were checking in on me, um, you know, just texting, emailing, seeing how I was doing. I truly appreciate you all, and I rotate that love right on back to you all. So let's go ahead, um, see what we have coming in, going out, going on. I do want to pick up on... Uh, you know, just the energy of what's lingering, see what we have, you know, kind of lingering in the background. Uh, we're just coming up out of Mercury retrograde and that was a very intense energy to navigate. Um, from the moment it hit, it didn't even officially hit and I was feeling all of the effects. I'm talking about my computer was glitched out on me. I lost, uh, my computer because the hard drive crashed. My car was acting up it was just all kind of stuff my telephone or my mobile phone was out of commission for a few days it was just like boom 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 it was just a constant uh, like um influx of energy and it was really really not he uh heavy energy to navigate but um i feel this um this shift now and i am very interested to see you know, what these cards have to say for you, beautiful souls. I thank you so much um, again for just tuning and tapping in and we're going to see what we got. So let's tap in. Um, I do call upon all of the elements, uh, do some house cleaning. You know, I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels and archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, 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 yo. So it is officially 447 on the clock. That breaks down to 15. It's actually 448 now. So it just changed that quick. Um, so 448, that breaks down to, um, what is that, 16. So that breaks down to 7. So there's definitely some changes. I feel like there's some movement, there's some activity, maybe even feeling balanced, harmonized. Um, could be um, what you all are experiencing right now. Um, I am getting a sense of like some of you could be dealing with a fellow water sign, a cancer. Uh, that seven is the month of uh, Cancerian energy. So some of you could be dealing with a cancer. Some of you could be, could be dealing with someone that is a fellow water sign. I just saw 444 on this clock. So perhaps that's spirit's way of, um, you know, just kind of telling you that, you know, just to assert yourself, be assertive. 
uh, when it comes to, you know, whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that you are desiring, the best bet is to be assertive and to be confident, to stand in your power, to not allow people to exploit you, exploit your talents. Um, we have uh, Abi Okai. The name of the song is called Running. So perhaps there could have been a runner chaser dynamic or perhaps some of you all were kind of trying to run from a situation and now that you've found harmony or you found some sort of balance or now that you are going to be more assertive, there won't be any running. If someone was running away from you, if there was a runner chaser type of dynamic, I feel someone is going to assert themselves and they're going to you know approach you or say what they need to say or perhaps this is something that you will come into that power of being more confident and asserting yourself when it comes to uh, whatever it is that you desire. Um, that seven also gives me a sense of like, you know, just feeling lack, maybe not feeling as fulfilled or not feeling as content, maybe discontent and boredom. All right. So pardon me. So the phone rung as soon as I said that. So for some of you all that that's head on. Some of you all are definitely not feeling as content. Maybe you're feeling a little, um, dis, you know, um, just unhappy, unfulfilled. Um, but I feel like, you know, if you follow your dreams, that this is going to take you on a very exciting, um, voyage journey. Uh, perhaps some of you all, that's what you're, you know, starting to do now because you're now in alignment or you're, you're now feeling that sense of harmony, uh, to just go after what you want. This 85 indicates that there's been a major transformation or that you've recently reinvented yourself. Uh, but you've been through some sort of startling metamorphosis and now you're more, um, prone to following your dreams, your aspirations, your goals. I do feel like you've also been healing um, at a soul level, you know, you're following your heart, uh, your heart's truest desires. I see here that you also could have a love interest. This could be someone you know from the past or someone from a past life. Uh, this is giving me like the lovers, that six deals with the lovers. I do feel like spirit is telling you trust your intuition when it comes to matters of the heart as well. Uh, perhaps you are already in some sort of spiritual connection with someone and there could be a lot of communication telepathically or intuitively. This could be someone that could be like the one, that person that you could definitely build, you know, a relationship, a partnership, a connection, uh, build some sort of alliance, partnership. Um, you know, it's a very collaborative energy. I do feel a lot of support a lot of encouragement, compromise. I see here 77 and I'm sorry, 87 and 88. So this is literally like, you know, a synchronized number and then you have synchronicity. So for this energy, I do feel, as I said, that there's some sort of spiritual bond or soul connection uh, that you may have with someone and it's going to make you feel emotionally fulfilled. Whoever this is will feel like a wish fulfillment for you and I feel you will feel that same way to this person uh, because this is a double number so I do get a sense of someone could possibly be going through their own transformation or maybe someone is following their heart's uh, desires. Um, we have Joey Badass and this is the name of the song is called Umi Says. Um, so I do feel like, you know, there's definitely, and this card wants to come out. So we're going to take it. This is the number three. That three deals with the Empress. So with this energy, that's like goddess energy. That's like, you know, a divine feminine. So someone has come to some sort of epiphany that you are like a divine feminine or that you are like a divine masculine. This is someone very regal, royal, someone who's reached that level of self-mastery. This is someone very nurturing, very loving, very down to earth, a healer, um, someone very powerful, very attractive. Someone sees you as love, as light, as joy, as peace, as their sanctuary. You know, they see you like the home, like the hearth. Um, you're someone who could definitely, um, you know, build and cultivate, uh, you know, a very powerful, uh, family construct with, so someone is very, very much coming into this epiphany, especially with Umi says, perhaps someone is listening to like a maternal figure or, you know, like a grandmother, maybe there's an ancestor, um, that is leading someone towards you, or this could be an ancestor leading you towards someone that will feel that way for you. So this 
thing is driving me crazy. It just keeps getting all bunched up, and I'm, I'm literally ready to just get rid of it, which I am. I, I have no patience for this. Bye. Okay, let's put that there. Throw that over there. Okay, so let's cut this deck. Let's see what we got coming and going out, going on. So this is the overall energy. You got that number three, and that number three is really, you know, the cut. The, that's the number of the solar plexus as well. And I was getting a sense of someone like building and mustering up strength and the courage, and even just being more assertive. This also is indicative of, you know, healing. Someone who's been really healing at a soul level. And they've mustered up that confidence. That solar plexus deals with your self-confidence. It deals with your self-esteem. So I do feel like there is a sense of someone who's um, really seeing you as someone regal, someone royal, someone um, beautiful. You know, you could be tapping into your, uh, you know, your divinity as a divine feminine or divine masculine as well. Uh, there's a very powerful uh, Aries full moon coming up on the 29th that also happens to be Archangel's uh, Michael's feast day. So there's going to be a surge of energy um, that kind of comes through to aid you uh, with your creative projects. And I just saw 1111 that also could be encouraging uh, some sort of love partnerships as well. Uh, so, you know, if you are not pregnant with child, you definitely can become pregnant with child. So be mindful. Uh, so what we have on the bottom of the deck, this is what you're attracting to you. So we have the 67. So this is also that number 13, that 13 deals with the death card in traditional tarot. So this is someone who's had almost like um, that startling metamorphosis as well. So you're attracting someone made in your likeness. Remember we saw 85, that was also 13, and that was follow your dreams. So whoever this is, it's like they've had some sort of death of old concepts, belief systems, ideologies, habits, behaviors, and it's leading them to take some sort of action, to be more in, uh, intentional with their actions. Perhaps in the past, there was a lack of, um, you know, taking, um, you know, taking initiative uh, towards what they want. I feel like that's something that could have potentially led to the demise of a relationship. Uh, with Umi says, maybe someone was listening to a maternal figure or listening to, uh, you know, some feminine energy that could have been very overbearing or, you know, they weren't really trusting their own intuition because this three and the 67 breaks down to 13. That's four. So that's seven. So this is, you know, that seven deals with the crown chakra. I feel now there's more of um, disobedience to trusting one's intuition, whomever this is, even if this is you now, um, just falling in line with what uh, feels right, sits right in your spirit, or this could be that for the person you're attracting to you. Um, whomever this is, whomever or whatever this is, they're going to be very intentional because it says physical activity and the 67 breaks down to four, which is the number of that divine masculine. So you have a three here, which is the empress. And then you have the four, which is the emperor. So this is a suit. And I just saw 1313. 13. So it's it, that number in and of itself is showing that not only have you gone through startling metamorphosis and huge transformations and that you've in, reinvented yourself. Um, but I feel like whomever you're attracting has also uh, been through a similar uh, experience. And that is typically how, um, you know, that twin flame or soulmate uh, con connection will be. It's like you will become mirrored images of one another. And that's literally how I see uh, double numbers. Whenever I see double numbers on the deck, I always feel like you're attracting someone that's made in your likeness. So this is just showing that whomever you're attracting sees you as someone that brings a lot of happiness. They have a lot of adoration and a lot of physical attraction, but also uh, admiration. They admire your your strength, your courage. They admire your wisdom, your wise dome, um, just your gifts. You seem to be very gifted spiritually, um, attuned. Uh, but this is also someone that knows that they're going to have to make the right um, gesture or make the right effort, take the right steps towards you uh, in order for you to even entertain them. Um, 
what we have in the bottom of the deck is 48 financial discipline so you are attracting someone who is um you know very financially literate i feel like this could be someone who's a very hard worker someone very practical very resourceful uh how they feel about you could also be that you know you would be someone that is uh you know someone that they could kind of build that alliance with build and nurture a family um you know build a legacy with so we have on the bottom of the deck 44, there goes that double number. So both of you have really worked hard to heal. Um, you've really worked very hard to heal, but also to reinvent yourselves. Uh, I feel like this is showing there's, you know, a very solid foundation that you have um, established for yourself after going through some sort of, you know, a tower moment in your life. It's like you've had to really take a step back and, you know, to kind of stake your claim. And that's how they see you. See that? They see you as someone who's gone through a huge transformation. It's like you've emerged someone uh, completely different. And they see you as someone that's grown personally, spiritually, emotionally. Uh, that rebirth does show um, someone who's gone through a major transformation in their life. Been through enormous change and it's very admirable. Um, but they have a lot of love. And I feel like whoever this is, they're emotionally intelligent and they find you to be as well. Uh, but this is also someone that sees you as uh, very hardworking, very very focused and determined, willful. Um, I feel if you are working on a project that whatever you're putting into it, you're going to get it back tenfold um, because it's like you are, you, it's like you are very disciplined and also very uh, determined to um, reach that level of success, you know, and whoever this is could be someone, you know, from, you know, your everyday walk of life. This could be someone that you've worked with that feels these sentiments. Um, this could be someone that you live around in your community, someone that may frequent the same grocery store, the same gym, but this is someone you absolutely are familiar with. And I feel like this person's feelings and emotions have grown. I feel like, you know, their feelings have grown for you. Uh, let's see what's hidden in the energy. So what we have have playing right now is we have um hello what is happening and so what we have playing right now pardon me is groove theory this is called keep trying so I do feel like this person does feel that you're very resilient, you know, um, and even if this person, if that's in relation to this person, um, maybe there was, you know, like I said earlier, because we had running playing, so there could have been a runner chaser type of dynamic, and that 44 card came right back out. So the, the it's like, you know, this is someone that's very resilient. Um, it's like maybe there was a level of feeling abandoned, um, maybe you felt abandoned, rejected, and but you didn't let it discourage you. You didn't let it deter you from, you know, pursuing your goals. Maybe this is this individual that you're attracting. It's like maybe you turned them down before and they're going to come back for another opportunity to see. Whoever this is, I just get resilience because with keep trying, it's, it's this is someone that doesn't give up easily. Um, you know, maybe this is someone that you walked away from because maybe they weren't making the effort. And I feel like now this time around, maybe this person will make the effort. They will be more intentional with their actions. Um, this is someone I feel you're familiar with. Um, even if this is not in, even in relation to love, maybe this is in relation to, you know, the pursuit of your dreams, uh, your career. Maybe you've applied for certain roles and you didn't land the position that you wanted. Spirit is telling you to keep trying because perhaps whatever it was that you were um, pursuing, that wasn't meant for you. Uh, we have eight here, manifestation. So you are manifesting something that's going to bring some form of emotional um, satisfaction uh, you will receive whatever it is that you're looking for. So even if someone turns you down, even if you don't get that promotion or you don't get a particular job that you've applied for or interviewed for, I feel spirit is saying that something better is coming because it's it's manifesting in this, um, you know, in your reality. Uh, what you also have is you had this 19 pride. So perhaps that's why something didn't materialize because maybe there was too much ego involved. Maybe someone that could have been trying to approach you um, could have been very egoic and, and did not emote very much, did not allow themselves to be vulnerable. And that could have interfered with the actions that they took or with the, um, 
you know, with the communication, uh, because they were very, very um, proud. And I feel like now there's a sense of someone putting the pride to the side. Um, there's an ego death here. And this ego death is showing that, you know, someone is making some sort of change. This person has been in hermit mode because this 44 and this 19 bre breaks down to 9. And so I feel like, you know, someone sees you as very single, independent, self-sufficient. As I said, you've like reestablished, um, you know, a very solid foundation for yourself. You've rebuilt on a more solid foundation, I should say. And um, this has forced someone to kind of, you know, self um you know, go through some sort of self-analysis or to reflect perhaps on the behavior in the past. Uh, that nine is associated with that, that hermit. So it's like they took a step back and just analyzed, you know, self-analyzed, you know, to, to make the necessary changes. And I feel like when they do step out of this space of being um, in isolation uh, to observe themselves, I feel like they're going to take action uh, from a different perspective, like, you know, they've, uh, they've learned something, you know, and it's like, they've learned that perhaps you're a wish fulfillment, or perhaps they need to take action, because uh, this eight is given like the eight of wands. So I do feel like there's some sort of miracle or wish fulfillment or communication or some sort of, you know, action that someone is rushing to take. So what is the outcome and get a message of peace, power and protection? Thank you. We got 14 moderation. So there goes the change. Someone is making a change and we have this 91. So we got 19 and 91. These are both interchangeable. The colors in the cards, you got the red and then the red inside and you got the purple and the purple on the outside. So this is definitely what someone is doing. So whoever was holding back, they're definitely going to surrender um, to spirit. You know, they're going to surrender to spirit. They're going to trust the process and not try to control. When you try to control things, that's where the pride and the ego comes in. But when you just surrender and are receptive uh, to whatever it is spirit is teaching you or showing you, then things can open up and changes can be made. So I do feel like there's been changes uh, for the better. You know, the green deals with the heart chakra, um, but the moderation is also just self-love, I feel. Someone learning to love themselves. Um, false, you know, um, pride and ego, That that's just, that's really like a false way to, to, um, you know, coexist. You're not being your authentic self. It's almost like you're just wearing a mask. Um, we have Lizzo. It says truth hurts. And so that's truly what someone had to experience is some sort of truth um, about themselves. That's what, you know, this pride, this ego death is all about is someone realized that they were operating under some false identity and it just simply wasn't working um, out in their favor. So let's get some messages from Tarot and then we're going to wrap it up, beloved. So we have the fool here on the bottom of the deck. And we have on the split, the Ace of Swords. So someone is ready to take a leap of faith to express something, to communicate something with true hurts. I feel like someone has finally seen the truth for the first time. Uh, you know, maybe you walking away or putting someone in time out or you establishing boundaries with someone has forced someone to do their own work. Um, it's forced them to, like I said, do some soul searching, some self-reflection, and they realize that they've made some mistakes. They were foolish. You know, this is a very smug energy. Someone who is really just, you know, um, not really concerned with how other people feel. Uh, this person is holding three swords, so this could have been, you know, the culprit that broke your heart, led you to your own transformation. And um, now, you know, they're uh, desiring some sort of fresh start to take a leap of faith. And this is where you are. You know, you are in a space where you're now, you know, coming into your own you know, especially with that creativity card. That's like that pre-emperor status. See the lovers? I mentioned the lovers. So this is what this person is realizing. Like you are, you know, that one that got away or you are the one that they really feel an equal exchange of give and take. You may stimulate them in more ways than one. This definitely could be a spiritual partnership, as I was saying, because the six, the lovers always makes me feel. And there goes someone that could definitely be like a fellow Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, 
um, or a fellow water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, but this is someone that loves very deeply, very dearly, someone very devoted, someone emotionally intelligent, but they don't really show their emotions. They're not the type to just really emote or express how they feel. They kind of keep their feelings bottled up. And that could also be what this pride is all about. Someone is finally ready to, you know, surrender to what they're feeling. I just saw 2424 24 on the clock and that's 6-6. Six, six, so that's definitely someone communicating with you telepathically. I feel spirit's also telling you trust your intuition. This person sees you as an empress, as a goddess. And remember, we have that number three here, creativity. And I was speaking of the empress. And so that's the energy that they see you in. They see you as someone that brings a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, you know, just a lot of love. You know, um, they're very attracted to you, drawn to you and very spiritually um, so as well. So it's like they, you stimulate them on many levels. It isn't just physical. Of course, you're very attractive, but I feel like they're also very uh, you know, stimulated by you mentally or intriguing, very mysterious. They see you as someone that's a boss, someone that's, you know, very domestic. It's like you wear many hats and that's also very attractive. So what we have is DMX take control. So this is that person that does want to kind of like assert themselves now because uh, I was getting, you know, with that chariot earlier that someone is finally in balance and harmony within themselves. But they're also, you know, stepping into... Um, that level of being more assertive. And so that's what I feel that they're wanting to do. So there is communication coming your way. Someone wants to clear the air. I do feel like there also it could be an apology because I'm getting like an olive branch here from these two branches. I just get like someone wanting to apologize. Someone seeing something and, and maybe this is what uh, they're doing is kind of trying to muster up the strength, muster up the courage to apologize. Because what we have here is we have the seven of swords on the bottom of the deck. So this could have been that culprit that kept you in a perpetual state of confusion, you know, kind of in and out, flighty, very deceptive. Um, this is what pride and ego will have you doing. Uh, and that's what I feel the communication is, is I was just picking up like someone wanting to extend an ap apology or an olive branch. Um, cause I do feel like you being in that emperor, so that emperor energy, you know, your worth and value. So you're not going to settle. So you may have cut that person off, established boundaries. And I feel like that's why there is this desire to communicate, this desire to apologize, um, to take onus and accountability, um, this person sees you having a victory, you know, you're having a victory regardless. Uh, but with the seven of swords, that could even also be whomever or whatever you're attracting to you. That's what led to the demise. When someone is operating in this energy, um, I, I feel like you were not putting up with that. You know, you, you definitely established boundaries with this person because as I said, they kept you in a perpetual state of confusion and you eventually just trusted your intuition. Uh, and when you followed your intuition, you realize like, you know, uh, something just wasn't, you know, sitting right. Something wasn't right in the situation, in the situation. And that's what led to you just leaving it alone entirely. And that led to the demise uh, because this person wasn't really putting forth the effort. Uh, 27, 27 on the clock, that shows that you definitely um, established boundaries. You went into isolation. I feel like you definitely pulled back from this person and this, this individual felt it. So whatever deception, lies, trickery, plan and plot and scheme, and they were doing, they it's like they cut their own nose off and spited their own face because what they realized in the aftermath is that they loved you. And they should have made a better effort. So let's tap in. Why is the 67 physical activity here? Wow. This card came right back out. So that's exactly what they're, they're living with their own. Um, they're living with their own consequences of their actions. Uh, that's what led to the demise. But that also is what led to them, you know, um, having to take onus and accountability and having to check that behavior because this is definitely a uh, very vile energy you know no one should be operating in this energy of you know me 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 and i i i uh especially if you're trying to be in a partnership with someone and this is very childish and very immature very selfish and i feel like you just force someone to really um do some work you know and now that they're doing that work look at that they're in this hangman so spirit has them in the sacrificial position and they've gained some sort of epiphany 
about who you are, about what, you know, joy you brought into their life. It's like they're looking at you from a completely different uh, vantage point here. And this is a forced position. This 12 breaks down to three. So this is them now seeing you reach that level of self-mastery. We're about to pull the card about how they feel about you. And they feel like you've gone through some sort of major transformation. And it's very attractive. Um, if you look, his crown is completely illuminated. So I do feel like this person has learned the truth about their feelings, learn the truth about, um, even about this connection, perhaps, uh, the 16 breaks down to seven. Like I said, someone could be attempting to, you know, be, become more assertive to approach you, uh, because you have changed in this person's eyes, um, for the better, you know, and there goes the 10 of wands here on the bottom of the deck. So we have the hierophant, so yeah, they see you as a grand master teacher, like someone who's a healer, a shaman, a light worker, someone who could be, you know, um, someone who could be like standing, um, you know, just like standing in a position or in a position where you are a teacher, where you are helping others. You could be a guide, you could be a counselor, um, you could be a case manager, uh, you can be an advocate for others, you know. Um, you're teaching others based off of what you've learned, you know, you, you've learned uh, major life lessons and you're helping to heal others through those lessons that you've learned. Um, someone sees you honing your skills and mastering your craft. Uh, you could have your own social media platform where others are tuning and tapping in and learning. Um, you could have, you know, your own tarot uh, channel. You could have your own, um, like I said, counseling uh, channel, whatever it is, you, you're definitely disseminating information and others are uh, paying attention. They're taking heed. Um, you're also seen as very guarded, very protective of your energy. Um, and this is what you've learned to do because maybe in the past you didn't establish boundaries uh, with certain individuals and you had to learn the hard way uh, that that is a necessity in relationships. Uh, what I see here on the bottom of the deck is we have the Ten of Wands. So a very burdensome time is coming to a close here. Um, I feel like you've been really dealing with a lot on your own, carrying a lot of the bulk of the responsibilities on your shoulders solely. Um, but this has taught you resilience, it's taught you strength, um, because you had nothing to lean on but your strength. And I feel like your guides, your angels, um, this is also where you've learned to be independent, self-sufficient, um, you know, because this nine is given like the nine of pentacles to me. So I do feel like others see you as very self-sufficient, very independent, someone who has really worked hard to, you know, kind of establish their own. So why is this 44 environment 19 pride here for what's hidden in the energy and we have um matilda and this is called bruce wait what is this what is this why is this movie clip in here so we got the world-class wrecking crew turn off the lights so with turn off the lights, there definitely was a dark period, I feel, that you were going, you know, growing through. Um, but now I feel like you're coming out of that dark night of the soul uh, journey. And, you know, there is some sort of, um, you know, truth and clarity that you have been able to uh, come into. We have the Page of Swords, so you are uh, being investigated at this moment. I don't know if some of you all are, um, you know, have applied for jobs or have uh, applied for a promotion. Um, you know, there could be some background checks going on. It could be some, you know, checking of the references. Um, but this also could be just a love interest who's been spying. Um, someone who's been kind of like keeping tabs, watching you from a distance, uh, perhaps trying to figure out how to, uh, you know, to, to make an offer. Um, with this Queen of Swords, you're fully aware. I feel like you're checking for the red flags as well. Like you're not going to fall for the okie doke. You're being very mindful to, um, you know, trust what you feel. You're not taking too kindly to anyone insulting your intelligence this time around. Uh, but let's see what flew out. So you got the Queen of Cups. So this is your energy definitely in your power, emotionally intelligent, very intuitive. Um, you have angels watching over you as well. Uh, we did see 444 earlier, so I do feel like you have some angels who could be conspiring to bring love in, um, in you know, conspiring to bring true love into you as well. Uh, with turn off the lights... I do get a sense of like spirit telling you like don't allow someone to have you in the dark 
um, you know, trust what you're feeling intuitively. We have justice, so you are getting your just due. I feel like things are going to hand, be handled fairly and justly. But I also get a sense of there being some sort of um, truth that comes to light. Like someone may confess something, someone may say something that, you know, maybe you weren't aware of with turn off the lights, something that was hidden from you is going to come to light. And I feel like there's balance being restored more importantly here uh, with this page of swords. This is someone prepared and ready to come in and express something, uh, especially with the surrender. It's like they're going to give uh, finally surrender to spirit and not try to control the narrative. Why is this 91 surrender here for my beloved Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. And we have that nine of pentacles I was speaking to. And we have the four of cups. See that? So this is someone that does feel like you are the one that got away. It's like spirit has been trying, you know, for the longest to give this person this, you know, chalice and they're being very stubborn, you know, kind of pouty even. Um, and it's because they were trying to control the narrative. They didn't realize, um, you know, how special you were until you were absent, you know, until there was a disconnect or until there was, uh, you know, this, this lack of communication. Um, and with you being in this energy, uh, they feel very, very, um, they feel very anxious, you know, very anxious to say the least. But I see here, you know, that you are in this space where you're pre-emperor status, pre-emperor status. And it's like I said, it's like after some sort of tower moment, you've been able to rebuild, um, you've been able to reestablish your independence. You know, your independence is the foundation for your stability, your security, and your overall happiness. And I feel like this is what makes you even more attractive is because, you know, whatever situation occurred in your past, you did not allow it to, um, you know, to, to uh, destroy you. It's like, you know, whatever was destroyed, you rebuilt so this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Till next time, send a big fat ashayo. Peace.